Before we get into the video, people, I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins. To be with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and I appreciate you being here. Today, I bring you another Apex Legends video, and today, guys, I bring you news on possibly a new PvE mode, new maps, and also challenges and missions, as well as a solo playlist for the Battle Royale side of the game. So guys, you know I have you covered on all there is to know about the future of Apex Legends, whether that's leaks, news, rumors, data mine files, absolutely anything of interest about the game we love going forward. You guys know I will have you covered, guys. Today I want to discuss new data mine files which suggest interesting things which could be happening. Now it's important to mention as what we will eventually get into could correspond with all the leaks I've recently covered, i.e. the dragons or flyers and titans. These could all tie together. Okay, so since the latest update which came with the battle pass in season 1, we have seen some interesting files appear within the game. So let's check them out. Firstly people, files which suggest a PvE mode. Yeah, a player versus environment mode. As you can see on screen now, these files, one which states a PvE hub, could actually explain why we see dragons or flyers in the latest trailer. Also seeing flyers newly appear in the game files and actually finding game renders of these flyers. Could a new PvE mod be coming where these guys are introduced? That makes sense to me. It could be also the same mode where we could see titans. As over the past few days we have seen many many files which have emerged which suggest Respawn are still working with Titans for Apex Legends. We have seen an abundance of new anti-Titan weapons added into the game even with dialogue for said weapons coming from Legends like Octane. We have also seen the addition of files referring to Titans 2, new ones pop up. So maybe people just maybe, it could be this PvE mode which includes both these Titans and these Flyers we will see. But yeah, a PvE mod could be quite good and it could work a million different ways. I won't try and speculate at the moment as we have other things to cover on this matter. So next up we have files referring to missions and squad missions. Again guys, missions and squad missions could really tie into a PvE mod. Now if these said challenges for sure I could conclude they could be associated with the Battle Royale side of the game as Respawn have already said that with Season 2 challenges for the battle pass will come into effect but that ain't what this is these are squad missions another thing which could be associated with a pve mode and finally people we see files referring to a map selector meaning that there has to be more than one map now as much as i'd love to see a different map for the battle royale game mode now that i've seen these other files referring to missions and pve that's what i'm believing this might play a part in now it's early days at the moment, this PvE mode, these squad missions and this map selector could literally be in early phases of testing, hence why we're only seeing these now. If that is the case people, we won't see anything else for months, but either way I will keep you guys updated for sure. I just thought it kind of makes sense with the fact all of a sudden we see flyers within the Battle Pass trailer, which were then data mined confirming they are in the game, and then we see files referring to a PvE mode. Kind of makes sense, people. And the fact we see him in the Season 1 trailer, it makes you think that they might just come towards the end of Season 1 indeed. Okay, so the last thing I want to cover, guys, is solos. And it seems as though from a recent data mine that solos are already a part of the playlist in the game. And it's just a matter of time before we actually see Activated allowing us to play the game solo. Now, personally... I don't know how this will pan out, I'd imagine there'd be like 50 raves and 10 up times on the map at the same time and there'd be portals absolutely everywhere, it'd just be absolute mayhem, it'd be crazy, it'd be manic and I truly hope if they do drop solos it will be a part of a limited time mode where they just test it and see how it works and then take it away and make changes for the good, otherwise I can honestly see solos being an utter mess. But hey people, what do you think about that? Let me know down below within that comment section, guys. But yeah, just a quick video covering PvE, covering solos, covering titans, flyers, and just about everything you want to know. 
But yeah guys, just a quick video covering the latest news surrounding the game. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and this is what you want to see more of, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by smashing that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.